I remember being bricked for like 80% of the school day to the point where I ended up going inside the school locker room after school to basically see if I have enough time to beat my eggplant. But then out of nowhere, I remember my middle school crush for some reason decides to walk into the guy's change room and she saw me with my eggplant out and said, Bubba, what are you doing? Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a super embarrassing story. So today's story all takes place back when I was in high school and this was my grade nine year. Now in grade nine, I was just getting into becoming a player. And honestly, I started learning the ways of how to pull girls and getting better at it. It even got to the point where I ended up watching YouTube tutorials on how to pull girls. And yeah, even though that's cringe, don't get me wrong. It did help me out a lot because I remember there was a day where I ended up going into school in my grade nine year. And as I walked inside my school, I remember there was a girl that I was speaking to that was my crush. Now me, I always tried playing it nonchalant and like really cool with my middle school crush to not make it seem like I was desperate because I remember in the video that I watched, you know, teach me how to pull girls. It said to be, you know, not desperate. So I remember specifically with my middle school crush, I would always like try to like pretend there was like a convenience or a coincidence that me and her ended up bumping into each other. Like for example, when I knew she was going to go into the cafeteria to go eat lunch, I would be there already coincidentally or technically on purpose, but I would make it seem like a coincidence so that she would run into me and say some words to me in exchange. I know it's sounds really creepy and really weird saying it like that but you gotta understand every time me and her would have a conversation i didn't make it seem like i was following her nor did she ever think i was and no i wasn't technically following her i just knew her schedule better than she did wow i'm really sounding like the guy from the show you that is really concerning but you guys get the point okay me and her would have these random moments where we would bump into each other throughout the school day and i remember it finally got to a point where after school she ended up bumping into me once again except this time it was definitely by accident Accident. And knowing this, I ended up actually giving a shock and I looked at her and I was like, oh, like I didn't expect to see you here at all. Yeah, we seem to be bumping into each other a lot, eh? Yeah, we do bump into each other a lot. That's kind of weird to be honest. Yeah, maybe it's like the universe telling us something. Maybe. I don't know. Well, like here, give me your phone. I remember I passed her my phone and she ends up putting her number and ended up adding herself on my Snapchat. And well, honestly, I call that a mission success. But then things got really weird afterwards because I remember when I went home that day, I didn't know if I should message her because I still want to be that cool nonchalant dreadhead kind of vibe. So I decided not to message her right away. But then afterwards, when it was like towards the nighttime, I remember she ended up sending me a message. And this text message she sent me was the you up message that I think every guy dreams of a girl saying to them. And like me, I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of getting sick of it because, well, I don't know. I have a lot of things going on in my life. But back then in grade nine, getting that text message was a life changer because I remember when she sent that, I wasn't sure if I should reply. So I remember I'm just staring at at this message totally confused on what I should say back and it got to the point where I just kept staring at it till I passed out I ended up falling asleep and the next morning when I woke up my phone died on the same page of her text messages I felt really bad because I definitely should have responded with something like at the time you gotta understand chat GPT wasn't a thing to help me out so knowing that I totally just ego this girl I felt really bad but at the same time it was whatever I ended up getting ready going to school that day and when I got there I remember I went from totally trying to like run into this girl to now totally ignoring this girl. No joke, I would try to make sure that I wouldn't run into her and since I knew her schedule pretty well, it was pretty easy to do that. Except the weird part was, was that after lunch I ended up bumping into her randomly in the school hallway. No joke, I guess I was walking backwards as I was talking to my friend and I bumped into her and I remember when I bumped into her, she looks at me and says oh hey, are you good Bubba? Uh yeah, what's up? Oh nothing, like I don't know, like you didn't respond to me last night. Oh, okay cool. And I ended up walking away. I said, okay, cool to a girl that just wanted a reason why I didn't respond to her. Honestly, I didn't know if I totally blew all my chances. I think with the average chick, 100%, I would have blew all my chances of pulling this girl. But honestly, what ends up happening next, I gotta say was insane. Because I remember after that totally awkward conversation, I ended up going into my next class. And when I did, I remember I got a text message, except this time it was a photo that this girl sent me. I was really confused on what photo she sent. I thought it was maybe like a picture of me or something. Thing. But when I opened the photo that she sent me, I realized it was a photo of her cherries. And at that moment, I was like, wait, what? I was so confused when I was looking at this photo. And even the person behind me was confused on why I was staring at a photo. And he even looked up at me and said, yo, Bubba, pull her, bro. Go do your thing, bro. At that moment, I ended up closing my phone right away and putting it in my pocket. Like, thanks for the words of encouragement, buddy. But that's kind of weird that we're staring at the same girl's cherries. And I remember I ended up totally just ignoring her and 
not responding to that photo because I was in class. I remember I kept going on class to class and basically the school day ended. And I remember when after school came around, I was bricked out of my mind because my mind could not stop thinking about that photo. And it was really, really getting to me to the point where honestly, I didn't think I wanted to get on the bus totally bricked after school that day. So what I decided to do was I went to the boys change room, the guys change room, by the way. And I decided that it would be the most private place for me to whip out my eggplant. And I was about to start beating my eggplant until, well, the most weirdest thing happened because I remember I ended up hearing the door open. And as I was quickly trying to pull up my pants, I remember I ended up seeing the same girl look at me and she says, Bubba, what are you doing in here? Uh, hey, funny to run into you as I'm standing there with my eggplant totally hanging out like a weirdo. And this girl was definitely 100% confused on what was going on to the point where she says to me, Bubba, I'm just so confused. First, we bump into each other and the universe is telling us to like get together, but then you ignore me the same night. And on top of that, you told me cool and didn't respond to me after I sent you a spicy photo. Like, are you good, Bubba? Are you gay or something? At that moment, I didn't know what to say. And I'm pulling out my pants and I'm like apologizing because I wanted to play it cool. I ended up confessing to her how I was trying to be nonchalant. And uh, yeah, she didn't really like that to the point where she said to me, Bubba, here, let's go to my place. I remember me and her, we ended up walking over to her house since she lived nearby the school. And we did the duvel's tango. Honestly, I guess that was a sign from the universe to next time just respond to the girl when she says you up right away because I don't think any girl wants to wait on a you up text. But if you guys don't believe at all that this story was real whatsoever, then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.